commentary. We're missing the social commentary. You're all distracted. You're all distracted. You're missing the social commentary. You're all distracted. You're all distracted. You're missing the social commentary. The wolves are no longer howling. Their bellies must be stuffed with dog food. Hip hop emerged in the 1970s on the margins of society in black and Hispanic neighborhoods. Shrouded in obscurity, insubordination, and enigmatic virtuosity, it is no surprise that hip hop soon became a disruptor in the US's cultural and entertainment landscapes. The hype has long since been captured around the world. Hip hop and its predecessors such as disco, funk, rock and roll, rhythm and blues, jazz, and ragtime were all at one point innovations made by American descendants of slavery. And each form of expression has progressed and endured into present day as a less potent and sometimes cheap global dilution of their earlier compositions. The proliferation of useful and empowering forms of expression is to be expected, especially when the form is available to the intellect and not entirely esoteric. Although, there are some that argue that hip-hop is truly only understood and properly wielded by a concentrated group of the most righteous and true, many of whom maintaining that hip-hop only belongs to black American folk. But close attention to the behaviors of people around the world provides strong indication that hip-hop is a global staple of immense variability in how it is consumed, performed, taught, and understood. And likely to great surprise for most of us, the most influential arbiters of hip-hop knowledge in the 21st century are algorithms and artificial intelligence. A massive throng of human minds around the world are deeply rooted in social media. The algorithms of platforms like Facebook and YouTube are designed to learn our interests and behaviors in order to capture and control our attention. Furthermore, social media platforms are efficiently engineered to hijack the dopamine centers of our brain via a crude system of rewards, i.e. follows, likes, comments, shares. The function of social media innately decentralizes the base of understanding and practice of a cultural form like hip hop. Therefore, via social media, any person's engagement with hip hop is either a self-perpetuating echo chamber of prior knowledge and affinities or it is indiscriminate consumption of the most attention-baiting content dangled in the omniscient, omnipresent, and increasingly omnipotent hands of the bot. Essentially, the algorithm's manipulation of hip-hop interests means that hip-hop has faded far from its disruptor origin. Furthermore, as long as hip-hop exists on social media platforms, any individual or group's claim of ownership is invalidated via these platforms' obfuscation of content ownership. Producers and managers of content on social media are essentially a surf class participating in a feudal system. The platform benefits disproportionately from any producer's creative content. In the end, producers go to extreme lengths for attention and validation from consumers, often not knowing all the outcomes are predicated on the algorithm, not their intentions, efforts, nor merit. The complex nature in which information is dispersed, understood, and used in the 21st century via information technologies makes it difficult to hone in on purpose and authenticity. In most instances, it is easiest to mindlessly follow the horde. The valuation of any purpose and method of engagement with information should be determined by the individual, regardless of clarity and understanding of the playing field. However, awareness of ourselves and our circumstances should expand our options for optimally using current information and productively acquiring new information. Exploring and sculpting our sense of individuality and place in the social landscape is likely a useful preoccupation, especially when social media algorithms threaten the actuality of free will. And to the hip hop aficionados, particularly those that identify closely with the ADOS experience, it is surprising that you haven't already migrated to a new and uncharted landscape for expression. Is your propensity for innovative cultivation of expression atrophied by the fertile grounds of validation in the current media environment? ADOS people have customarily shed their skin when the rest of the world shows they've caught up and learned to adorn themselves in similar shade. For example, in the 20th century, 
there were essentially musical genre breakthroughs every 10 years generated in black communities, ranging from the emergence of jazz in the 1920s to the mainstream emergence of hip hop in the late 70s. Is post hip hop the best that we can do now? The wolves are no longer howling. Their bellies must be stuffed with dog food. <laughs>